Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo. And even before I even start this video, I want to say thank you and a shout out to all the DJs and all the people who have bought t-shirts and support the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are just, I you know, it's amazing how many people bought shirts and stuff like that. So that I, from the bottom of my heart, man, I really appreciate it, man. You guys make this channel possible. All right. Today, I wanted to talk about MacBook Pros. I've made a few videos talking about my expectations about what the new MacBook Pro is going to be and when it's coming out and what it's going to be like. Apple is going to have a new showcase demonstrating all of the new tech and all the new computers coming out down the line. I believe it's in April now, uh, April 20 something, 21st or something like that. It's been pushed back. It's going to be a monumental shift away from what they've been doing for a long time. I've talked about this before. They've, they've done the shift from PowerPC to Intel uh, x86 type chips. And them switching back to uh, ARM, a similar style as PowerPC type chip, is a huge restructure. And the reason why they did it is because Intel wasn't delivering and PCs in general had the problem of power and the problem of heat. One of the things that I'm really looking forward to from the new MacBook is the reduction of how many watts this chip has to be to be competent as a daily driver for a computer. I've used Macs and PCs for a long time. I'm currently on a PC. And honestly, I switched over because of continuity and because of Premiere Pro. Um, I'm an Adobe user. I use Premiere Pro to edit my videos and to do other stuff outside of my YouTube channel. And you need a powerful PC and you need an uh, NVIDIA card, video card. And Apple doesn't support <laughs> either of these two things. Well, I shouldn't say that. Apple has the powerful PC, but not the NVIDIA stuff. And for Adobe Premiere... Until they settle that beef with Steve Jobs, which they can't do right now. <laughs> I guess they got to settle it with uh, Tim Allen. Uh, I said Tim Allen. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> I'm tired, man. Anyways, they have to settle it with Tim Cook. They are holding on to this grudge like a mofo. And Adobe is just twisting in the wind here because... You can never get the proper support that you could ever get on a PC for Apple. And I know it works, but it doesn't work as good as it could if NVIDIA wasn't there. So the point is, because of the beef with NVIDIA, while you can work your MacBook and you use Adobe Premiere and all these apps, whatever, it'll work, but it wouldn't work as good as it would if you had an NVIDIA card in there. So one of the things that I'm looking forward to with the new Macs is the efficiency of low power but high performance out of a chip in a tiny package with a battery that lasts all day. I've been a Windows user for a bunch of years and I like Windows. I'm not one of those weirdos that are like, oh, Windows is the worst thing. Like Windows is fine. Windows is very solid as it stands right now. Uh, Windows 10. Uh, updates, and, and, and here's my issue. When Windows does an update, it doesn't break my computer. I don't have to wait for Serato to do a brand new update to make the thing work. It's going to work fine because the architecture is still the same and they just improved upon it or made it more efficient. But the core of what makes Windows doesn't change every update. Some people look at that as a plus. Some people look at that as a negative. But when it comes to DJing, every time there's an update on a Windows PC, your computer isn't broken. <laughs> So I got to go back into that world. But I think that the trade-off between the performance and having a battery that lasts all day on a single charge is worth it on my end, and especially the performance part. Now, there's a bunch of videos on the internet, and they're showing the MacBook Pros running on beta software smooth as butter. And when I saw that, I was I was sold. I immediately, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm, I'm done here on the Windows side. Because 
if this thing can run with the emulator, when this thing is properly calibrated and you have native code, how smooth is this going to be? Honestly, how smooth is this going to be? It's going to be ridiculous. For me, I don't just use my laptop to DJ with. Uh, I use it to record these podcasts and I use it for a bunch of other stuff (laughs) in addition to photography and a bunch of other things. And having a, a computer that is efficient, that can run on battery for the whole day is a game changer for me. It is an absolute game changer for me. Even with the MacBooks, you only got a couple. You can make it last seven hours or so if you're just browsing Facebook. But if you're actually using a computer, you could only get for three, four hours, which is what you were getting on a PC. It wasn't better or worse. It was just similar, comparable. The new MacBooks of what they're offering as far as performance Habit being this versatile is a huge deal for me. I definitely want to see more about the build, what they're going to do with the ports and stuff like that, because I I hated the fact that I need a dongle for everything to use the the laptop. Like for my current laptop right now, I have an SD card reader. I pop the thing out of the camera, check my thing, make sure my video is good. I record whatever I was doing my audio onto SD card and now it's in the same place, pop it into my desktop, edit away. Now, if I don't even have to go to the desktop and I can edit directly from my laptop, come on, man. Like, <laughs> like what are we talking about here? I wouldn't even dream of using my current laptop to edit video. I'm sure it's possible. I just want to wait 10 hours for this thing to, you know, <laughs> to export. I don't want to wait that long. That's just like, no. The dream of consolidating all of your stuff into one computer is a huge deal. For me and personally, it's a huge deal. That will simplify my life. If I'm doing a photo shoot and I can tether my computer, but I don't have to plug it in. Game changer. <laughs> just game changer. I can get, you know, 20 hours out of this battery while I'm doing real work. You have to look at the battery performance as similar to your phone or your tablet. Right now with your tablet, if you're using your tablet, battery is going to drain the same way if you're watching YouTube versus if you're playing a game. It's, it's going to be real similar versus on a laptop. If you're on Facebook versus watching a movie, Battery's going to train different speeds. This is why when people do the the tests, they do different types of tests. They don't just browse Facebook for a couple minutes and then say, oh, this battery lasts all day. Like, they don't do that. It has to be different types of tests because the different scenarios draw different power the same, similar, different. I'm really excited about what happens next for the computer industry. Now, I have a bunch of users who are all in the all-in-one controllers, the record box controllers, and the Denon DJ controllers. And (laughs) they've checked out of this computer debate. And to be honest, I don't blame them. But how I use my computer, I use it for different things. Obviously, (laughs) if I can cut up some video on a Prime 4, well, you know, what are we doing here? (laughs) But you can't edit video on a Prime 4 yet. So I'm sure we're going to get to a point where you can do all your streaming in a box and not need a computer. You can just plug your your camera directly to the box. That's it. You don't need anything else. I think there is something like that. I'm I'm thoroughly certain I saw something like that. (laughs) For the time being, I need my computer. Also, I would like to edit stuff. I don't know. I don't want to leave all my coughing and mistakes up on the thing like that. It's probably why I don't do live stream. <laughs> oh, I edit the hell out of these videos, man. Uh, <laughs> I know it's it's ironic. The, the, the name Raw and Uncut is ironic. But uh, I digress. I'm excited about these computers. I know that there's a lot of people who've gotten out of this thing. I'm like, I don't need a computer anymore. And, you know, you guys live in the dream. I would love to, but I can't, I can't do that. I think that we're in a cool place for technology. 
I don't think people were thinking possible a couple years ago. Just as far as CPU power and what you can put into a controller now, is we're out of this world. Honestly, we're, we're in a different spot. So I think this is amazing. And I'm definitely, I'm enjoying where this ride is going and, you know, what's coming next. I am hopeful for the PC side as well. Um, they're not going to be sitting on their laurels, but like, oh, whoa, is me. Apple's killing us right now. They have an ARM version of Windows. It's called Windows X. And it's pretty polished. It's ready to go. The only thing it can't do is emulate, you know, x86 programs. Well, it can. It's just not very good. <laughs> Leave the Windows to, to come up in the rear, but pause. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's coming. This is going to be very interesting to see what happens next. And I'm loving this thing, and I look forward to it. But you know what? Let me know what you guys think about this. If you want to support the channel, you can buy something from my t-shirt shop, teespring.com, DJ Keo store. Link is in the description, as always. And I thank you for watching, and uh, peace out, bitches. <laughs>